Good to be guys. Yes, it's me again. I know. This girl did vlogist and then disappears for a freaking month. What the heck? Same. I feel the exact same way about that because I've been meaning to film something for literally the whole month. And I did, but I haven't posted it yet because like, yeah, like I can't figure out how I want to edit it. Jared and I went to see the We Are Two Different People tour with Drew Gooden and Danny Gonzalez. And I kind of like vlog, vloggy, vloggy style videoed that. And I wanted to post it because I wanted to do kind of a voiceover thing, something that I haven't really like tried before, but I haven't really figured out how I want to edit it. So I haven't done anything with it yet. I just have all of this footage and I'm just like, yeah, I could work on that or I could not. <laughs> so where have I been? What have I been doing? What the heck? Basically, um, Vlogist took up the whole month of August for me, which means any other project that I had really went on the back burner. Um, you can't even see the candle I lit. That's honestly so rude. There. <laughs> Vlogist took up so much time for me last month that I really didn't have any time to do anything else after work because I was so focused on filming, editing, uploading, and then I pulled a Jenna Marbles and was like, I'm gonna film, edit, and upload all on the same day. And that's what I did. So, you know, it wasn't really conducive to any sort of like social life or workout life or anything. And I'm running a marathon in like a month. So, mm, kind of needed to focus on some other things besides making videos as much as I love it and having fun doing it. Vlogist was so fun despite the stress. Like I look back on it positively and I'm like, oh, that was fun though. I got to like push myself creatively, see what happened, do whatever, you know, whatever. Do whatever, you know, whatever. Great, excellent. I also, this month, apart from training for the marathon more heavily, I've actually ran really a lot, a lot of miles this month. But I was just taking a break, kind of gathering myself and figuring out what I want to do next and kind of enjoying the people around me and not being so stressed when I get home from work that I have to go sit down and film something and edit it and upload it immediately and not being able to enjoy what I'm doing so much and kind of having to put my relationships with my roommates and other people on the back burner because I'm like, I have to do this project that I set for myself. So I've just been enjoying their time, I've been running, like I said. And then I've also been um, volunteering at my church a lot, which pretty much takes up my whole entire Sunday. So I have about, I guess, quote unquote, six days a week that I work, which I have my normal nine to five job Monday through Friday. And then on Saturdays are kind of my rest day. So I hang out, I do running, I do any little like side things that I want to do for fun. I try not to make myself do chores, but on Sundays I get up, I go to church, I'm there at nine. I have my small group for our junior high ministry and then I go to actual service at 11. And then I have about a three-ish hour gap, not even three, like two and a half hours before I have to be at leader training for a small group of peers that Jared and I are leading. And then we have group from three to five, then I have an hour, and then we have the high school ministry from six to eight, which usually turns into six to nine. If we go to Culver's afterwards, that takes up another hour, hour and a half of time, which isn't a bad thing because I enjoy going to that and like getting to bond with everybody and kind of see what's going on in their lives because I haven't been in high school for like five years. Oh. That was, that hurt a little bit. I didn't like high school, but I didn't hate it. I also feel weird that I am an adult now, which is weird. I actually have my diploma, diploma, my degree, degree up there hanging on the wall. And somebody came in my room and was like, it's not supposed to be your office. And I'm like, no, it's right here in my room. I don't have like an office wall to put it on. I'm not cool enough to have an office. <laughs> I have a cubicle. I've been doing that and kind of just diving into my more spiritual side and my more physical side. Just any other portion of my life that isn't this, I was working on this month. Kind of ended vlogging with bang and then I went home and saw my family and now I'm back and I've just been kicking it. Not really, but I have been just hanging out and kind of doing what I want to do. I also started another project up here that I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet. I don't know if I'm gonna actually do anything with it. I might just end up tearing all of that down. So, don't worry about it. We'll talk later if we need to. So what's coming up in this next month? I know this is kind of like a monthly Madeline-esque video, but more sit down and chatty kind of video about what is going on in my life, why I haven't been around as much. What's coming up next for me that next month, any big things I have. We went on our first high school retreat and I'm super excited because I've been with my group for like two weeks and I feel like they don't hardly know me at all, but 
We're getting closer is what I've heard happens on those retreats and I'm just really excited to do it. I'm also going to a wedding that weekend, which will be very cool. This is all in October. My roommate and I are doing a pumpkin run for a 5K. Halloween is next month. And the most important thing, I'm getting all of this touched up so I won't look like, I used to have such light hair. My hair used to, a picture here of my natural hair before I dyed it the first time. And now it just comes in so dark, which is fine, whatever. But I'm gonna get that fixed <laughs> because I have to fix myself. I don't have to fix myself, whatever, whatever. But yeah, so that's where I've been this month. That's where I'm going next month. I'm also hoping to post some seasonal content because I really like the holidays. The last three months of the year are my favorite and I'm probably not the only girl who says that. It's probably like having yellow as a personality trait. I guess we'll see what happens with this. It was really great to talk to you guys again. I will see you in the next one. Bye.